Wait, we have we have Goombella now because we we recruited Goombella. I was wondering because Mario was on this the front screen, the title screen alone. So we're slowly gonna get more people as time goes on. That's actually great. I actually really like that. Uh, dang! If we can transition to um, it transitioned back to the uh, little opening cinematic before. before the music even stopped. Oh yeah, we got Gumbella right there now too. Very cool. Been seeing, again, people uh, sort of uh, debating about old old music versus new music. Uh, I will say, yeah, they, they did have a drummer go a little, a little ham on uh, Rogue Town on the Rogue Port theme. Uh, maybe a little more ham than they than they needed to, <laughs> admittedly. But you know, it's that is funny. Oh, can I? Can I? Oh well, this this isn't a skip though, because I can walk over there. Yeah, okay. No, the, I was about to say I'm like that's a very easy skip. Like you think they would have caught that if that was the case. Anyways, hey, we're back with Paper Mario. Last time, we just did the prologue section. We're not officially in the next chapter yet, but we'll, we're about to head into the next chapter. Uh, we walked around Rogueport. We met Goombella. We met uh, Professor Frankly. We beat up uh, some bird man named Gus. Uh, decisively. Decisively beat, beat, the, beat the snot right out of him. Only cost me eight coins for, like, one sleep. Uh, which was awesome. Um, and we picked up some freaking star chips. We were introduced to um, the x knots of, of who we will be seeing much more of as as, uh, as the game goes on. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna be heading off now to the first chapter. We uh, we did we held our magical map that was given to us by Peach in front of the, in front of the penultimate thousand year door the title the title named uh place the thousand year door oh we got the ability to oh we got the, the ability to turn into a paper airplane can't forget that um and we're just gonna be heading off so, if you've been enjoying this or anything else on this channel so far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell to get notified of more things in the future. Links in the description of things that I have been doing, will be doing, or have, have done before. I think have done, will be doing, or am doing currently. Um, also, meet my friend at making a game. Any and all support towards that would be much appreciated. You can support us by supporting anything on this channel, supporting their devlog streams, and most of all, supporting the Patreon. And with that, let's get going. Oh. Can we do this right now? Well, we can't even get across unless we can boat. Uh, let's do it. Oh. Bloop? Ouch, that hurt. In true sewer fashion, have to fight a giant blooper? I got the I have the original music on right now. We got a badge that actually only cost one point and no no BP. We got a badge that lets us uh, listen to the original track. So I think I'll of course I'll be bouncing back and forth. Oh, actually you got the waves. Oh, the paper is like folding in the background to imitate the waves going up and down. That's great. Who just who just up and whack someone's tootsies like that? Somebody with serious moxie. That's who. Yeah, to be fair, we are act we, we were asking for this one. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustached guy. He's in a world of hurt. Whoa. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey, Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Uh, true. Can't believe this fight. Well, I want to put you in front just to... First off, first off, uh, Gabella, there's no guarantee this guy hits just you, to be fair. But I think we have a, we have another badge, too. 
Ooh, that was actually faster with that. Um, only 12 HP? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, we're fine. That's a blooper, and a really super humongous one, too. Ugh, it's all slimy. I just totally cannot stand slimy, nasty, icky things. Gross. Gross, Mario. I'm not having sex with this thing, I promise. It attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down. Then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and make seafood out of that slimy, nasty blooper. Each of them have... 3 HP? So just enough that we can't finish it with one of, one of our turns? Gotcha. We do have something that makes it harder for us, but we get more star power, I believe. Do we have it equipped? Surely we have it equipped. A mustache. You're thinking I taste good, aren't you? Admit it. No, no, I really wasn't. Hey, you want to snack on these tentacles, don't you? You're darn bloopin. Ew, no, I'd rather bloop. <laughs> You're darn bloopin. Ugh. Ooh, okay. Okay, Goombell, you, you don't need to face tank everything for us. Ow. <laughs> yeah, so this guy's definitely not hard at all. Oh, hold on, he's on the ground now. Oh yeah, might as well. Oh my gosh, wait, we get that one already? Yeah, you, there's so much style, there's so much like stylish trickery you can do. It's it's really good. Oh, I think we, I think we freaking got his number right now. Oh! Wait, we get some s crazy slow motion stuff? We get to do freaking slow motion backflips and stuff now? Oh, with three off, I'm, ugh, drat. Dude, this game's got so much freaking style now, holy crud. Not, I mean, it had it had a lot of style before, but like they injected it with like even more freaking flair. It's it's pretty sick. Blue. Oh, oh, he went up, not down. Crimony. Okay, well you know we're gonna go pop a heal really quick. I think it's only right. Man, we're, we could level up before. Oh, you know what? Wait, we'll we'll get a level up and then we'll. If we can get into one fight, that'll give us a full heal. Cool. Right, can't do anything yet. Oh, it's actually like covered in green grass and stuff. Well, there we go. Castle and Dragon. It's classic. It's a classic, classic way to start. And maybe a princess in it, to be fair. Ah, this song, this theme. Well, here we are. The Petal Meadows, where folks say the crystal, st uh, crystal star hides. Do folks say that? We could have just gone straight here even if the map didn't tell us to then, right? Woohoo, here we are, Mario. The start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. Uh, indeed it is. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I'm... I think we can hold more... Oh my gosh, we got like... Movable grass and stuff, foliage and whatnot. 
the backgrounds are still like impressionistic. <laughs> I do love that. Um, oh, hold on. It's mild and pleasant here all year round. I love it. Doesn't it feel nice? Oh, hey, Mario, if you hit a tree, sometimes something good falls out. I know that came out of left field, but I mean it. If you see a suspicious tree, smack it. Uh, we'll do. Uh, yes, we do. So, right, we do have the unsimplifier. Like I said, we'll go back and forth, so we'll... Oh, the looking up sprite from Mario, that's great. As the title would suggest, there's a castle. That's a dragon. <laughs> oh no. It, it's a pretty, you know, it's a pretty big... Because, you know, you walk into this area, you're like, oh yes, of course, these are the... This is the grass field zone, the, the first level of any Mario game, right? Like, what's to... Not much to write home about. Boom, giant, giant dragon. Uh, oh, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Never seen anything but a, that humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. It definitely flew into that castle back there, right? Well, let's get going in case it comes back. Here we go. Again. Oh, don't worry, Goombella. We'll, uh, we'll see what that's all about soon enough. Oh, these things are, like, fully, like, they're like cardboard standees. Oh, the controller shakes when you walk through the grass. That's nice. Everything feels so light, alive. Everything's, like, moving and stuff. I wonder what we'll have to do with these things. Hmm. <laughs> Questions. All right, Goomba. You, you have the honor of giving us our first level up. Um, yeah, I will say, I think people, I, I saw some people sort of echo this thought, which is that, like, what Super Mario RPG and what this game seems to do is they make all the music universally, like, high energy. And I think what that does... Oh, wow. So, friendly reminder, um, the HP, FP, and BP caps are incredibly high in this game, so you can just dump point, you can dump level ups into any of them forever, and, it's, and it works out just fine. I think right now, I'm not, we don't have enough to use BP on. So I am actually going to do FP, I think, because starting with 5 FP is pretty hard. That, that's only 2 uh, of, the, our, of our Power Hammer, um, and Power Hammer is incredibly strong at the beginning. So we'll do FP first. Not to mention if we get other abilities that we can use FP with, we're going to want that. Sweet. Wow, that felt, like, huge. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, foes will sometimes miss when attacking him. Five HP or below. Is that? Hold on. Is that a badge that takes more than one? No, it's not. Okay, perfect. Actually, perfect. Here's the thing. I I could very easily get rid of um, get rid of the unsimplifier and not like that. And I hold on. Oh, you can like crush. <laughs> You can crush this stuff with your hammer? Can I crush the yellow grass with your hammer? You can. Oh. That's very fun, okay. Oh, I actually nailed that? Dang. Don't worry, Goombella, you don't even gotta lift a finger. Oh, uh, so these guys don't even... Okay, so these guys are now dropping two, which is still good. Oh! 
run. Uh, can't do anything about that one yet, although next level up is definitely going to be BP now because that was an HP upgrade. And um, because you keep leveling up BP in this game uh, with no cap, um, it's actually super... I'm gonna have to look up what Goombella's stylish on a head bonk is, unless it doesn't have a, a stylish for a head bonk. I feel like everybody's everything does. I mean, her, her tattle has a stylish. Dang. Um, oh, I think the ZL is actually, it just says partner hint, which I think means that you don't even need Goombella out for that one. Oh. Uh, replenish it. Horsetail replenishes 3 HP. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Um. Oh, he's actually shaking on his own. Very interesting. Um. I'm still trying to spin. I'm too used to spinning in, in the first Paper Mario game. Uh, but yeah, since. Since you. Since there is no cap. To, um. To BP in this game, right? Uh, it's actually okay to just keep dumping level ups into BP, uh, even if you don't have something you necessarily really, really want to equip. Because when you find the FP pluses and the HP pluses, those those cost three. That there's your level up right there. It's like you just dumped points into um, HP at that point, um, and then you're obviously free to unequip that if you put a level uh, put a level into HP or not. So that's something to think about. Um, it's not, it's not ne necessarily a waste, which is cool. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself wondering what to do, just press ZL to ask for a hint. I'm full of good ideas, you know. I, I don't remember the hint thing being in the original game. I could be wrong about that. Very cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's the beginning of the game, you know. I can't get over how good everything looks. It's kind of crazy. Um. Oh. -ho. Oh, now time for some perspective shenanigans. This game is what start like does a lot of fun stuff with all this. Let's go the wrong way first, just in case. I like this new version of this song though. But yeah, I think what people were saying, uh, I saw a, a, a general um, sentiment. Uh, do it into like a flip book, very fun. Um, being that like they made all of the music super high energy, kind of across the board, and that feels kind of out of place. It's, like when you go to Rogueport, it's the original track is like it's not slow, but it's not it's not bombastic. It, it, it's sort of a vibe, you know. You're in like a seedy like pirate town. Um, and it kind of captures the uh, a bit of like a, a whimsy to that, right? So some of like the whimsy of that. Oh, mystery! Who knows what this does? Wow. Okay. Um. It, but like, but like the new one, the way the drummer pops up, it almost feels like a battle version of the theme. And that is like a bit, <laughs> a bit overboard, you know? Like I don't like that that drum. I mean, good on him. He, he pops off, and that's great, but like maybe a bit too much for just the rogue port theme. Welcome, travelers. Hmm? Well, you ask? Well, this is Petalburg. Sorry, it's been a long time since we've had visitors here. Yeah, buddy, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area, well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon? Hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. 
So it's called Hooktail, huh? Mm, scary name. By the way, Green Boots, have you heard of these things called Crystal Stars? I well, on this quest for them is very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Nope, can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You may want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. <laughs> As such, he knows all kinds of stuff. Koopas his age are uh, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. Pink house. Sounds totally hideous. It should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Cabela. Cabela, you can't keep roasting every single person we come into contact with. Oh, this place is lovely. Oh, all these, like, unique characters. Top of the morning, tis I, Bobulber. I remember you, Bobulber. I am as happy as can be. Why? Simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. Oh. Um, yeah, so we can spot these. Unlike, unlike the first Paper Mario, we cannot flip these with just the hammer, though. I'm almost positive. You have to use the ground pound. Spoiler alert, we do get a ground pound. Also, you can fall into any body of water, and the uh, piranha plant thing will get you. So, you know, be, be wary of that, I guess. The Petable Koopa Troopa. He likes spreading rumors about Hooktail's treasure. Unless they're not rumors. Hmm. Oh, Hooktail? She lives at the top of that old castle behind, beyond this hummock in the, meadow, in the Petal Meadows. Have you heard the rumors? Some say a lot of the some say lots of treasure is hidden in that castle. Scores of people have gone in search of it, but not 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 a one has returned. So, what do you think? You get scared, huh? Not particularly. Oh my gosh, a little tiny toad. Hey, what's up? I gotta say, I've been playing a lot of GBA games lately. Oh yeah, which ones? There's this one game that absolutely rules. It's called Fire Emblem. Oh, it's the same exact dialogue, I think. You ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks. Fire? An old fire? It's pretty no, no, freaking no, no, cool. No, 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 no. New Fire Emblem, I'm sure it's fine. But I came in at Awakening. And then they started, and then, and then that was around the time they started really pushing further into like that direction. And I'm kind of like, I like the old vibe just a little bit more personally, but I also haven't played any of the other games. So maybe, maybe I would, maybe I would love the rest of the new ones. I don't know. Her Three Houses was good at least. I don't, maybe I'll play it at some point. Ah, uh, bonjour, mademoiselle. Isn't it a beautiful day? No, 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 Not you, monsieur de, <laughs> monsieur de la moustache. I'm speaking to that lovely little cabbage behind you. Mon petit chat. Ciao. Do you hear me, beautiful? Abandon this dullard and come away with me. Ew, are you kidding? Ew, nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a hike, bozo the jump. Oh. Je suis ble... Blasé? Je suis blasé? I am wounded. Such a br such brutal honesty. Such a sharp tongue. No, 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 no. I shall no, 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 retreat no, 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 no. for now. If you change your mind, come find me. What a total sleaze. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. So, is that what happens? Uh, <laughs> I How many times... Uh, I, I think that's number two on the Goombella gets objectified. Mario? Ew. <laughs> What's with this guy, huh? It goes to the piano just to be nigga this weird weirdo. <laughs> Alright, fine, whatever. His name is Dupree. He's this icky guy who tries to sweet talk everyone. There's there, no more. That's <laughs> Mario, guess what? Have you guessed? I bet you can guess what I'm gonna say. I'm not having sex with that guy. <laughs> Holy crud, Goombella seems generally disgusted with everybody. <clears throat> I can't blame her. Oh, that's already that's what a new power up already. Oh, two new power ups. Oh, right, the code shell. <laughs> hey, did you have to pick up any power blocks on your way here? And if not, you'll notice that we've got them for sale right here. Hint, hint. <laughs> Lucky for you that you stopped by, unless you get enjoy getting clobbered by to denim-clad smithereens. That is. Uh, I'll take one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many? How much space do I have? Can I buy this too? I can. How many items is that? <clears throat> oh, thank goodness. It actually tells me how many. Okay, 14 out of 15. That's pretty good then. I shouldn't have even bought items. Well, I bought items because I thought I might need them on Gus. 
Well, we'll just have to start using some stuff. Whoops. At least the save is really quick. Give me the deets. A general white, the bomb bomb. I guess white bomb bombs are pretty rare. He has a cool mustache too. He might even give you a lip fuzz to run for his money. Hey, hey, chill out. Not true. Hut, I'm General White. I am a bomb bomb, and I have lost all my hopes and dreams. I live in solitude always. I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. Um, he is not going to be important. He will be important. If you see a uniquely designed character, chances are they'll be important. Dupree? Not. This guy? Yes. Um, we, except this guy's not going to be important until, like, the last chapter of the game, I think. It's kind of wild. Oh, I had to check something really quick. And Mario and Goombella are asleep. Guys, wake that up. <laughs> we got things to do. We got people to kick. Dude, I don't. I doubt even Mario has this much freaking peach paraphernalia. Also, why is there so much peach paraphernalia? I can't imagine having like. I know. I know some people do it. I can't imagine having like just hanging up, just straight up images of people as like. Oh, this is how I want to decorate my. Like I have. I have some posters that were like part of posters that came with like some albums and vinyls and stuff that depict the artist but usually in some sort of like artistic way or, or like it's part of the part of the album's art like Igor is just Tyler's Tyler the Creator's face blown up right so like the poster came, that came with that is just his giant <laughs> blown up version of his face um but like I don't know, just having like uh, an image of a celebrity or something. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. If that's a. That's that's not my vibe. Hey, keep your hands to yourself in here. Basically, everything in this room is one of a kind. Is a one of a kind collectible. This guy's apparently a total diehard Peach fan. He even collects Peach merchandise. He has posters and merch displayed everywhere. Boy, get a life. You know what I mean? Hey, Mario, don't tell me you have a secret collection of plush Peach dolls too. <laughs> okay, fine. I uh, <laughs> I won't tell you that then. Never ask me about my business, Goombella. That's a bulbul, a talking flower. I think he lives in Petalburg. Well, we are in. Pl well, I mean, you sh shouldn't jump to conclusions, but sure. I know he's a plant, but he makes more sense than these other quirky Petalburgers. Petalburgers. That's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, another one. <gasps> oh, a completely totally leave. HP. Pretty good, although we have no means of... That does fill us up. We also have no means of... Uh... Could we... Could, I... Could we sort things out like that in the original game? That might have been in the original game. Uh, you know, let me know <laughs> what sort of quality of life stuff is new to this one. I do know one big thing, but I, I wanna, we can talk about it and look at it when we when we come across it. For now, we'll just keep going. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor. Oh, I know who these people are. Sad. Oh, look at this old Koopa. Hmm? Was it? Someone there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know you're thieves. Here to rob a defenseless old Koopa. Despicable. Go on, do what you will. But as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends. My antique shell, too. No, no, dude. Just leave me the photos of me and the missus. I can't do nothing without those memories. Oh. What? Not thieves, you say? What was your story, then? Oh, wait. You folks looking for crystal stars? Why don't you pipe up before you itch it? I wa what? What did, you, what did you just call me? We're just wasting time here. The crystal stars you say you're hunting. Uh, wait, what did I hear about those dang things again? I got Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. She's the enormous ornery dragon. Eats folks, they say. 
you know, Hooktail, right? I may have heard the name. Well, this Hooktail's brutal fly-by snackings have us all on pins and needles. So, you reckless fools? I mean, are you gallant heroes? Off to rougher up? Uh, you got it. Oh, sounds promising. Why, if you can rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with the gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward? Of course I won't. Well, I didn't say that. What an unselfish man. You're noble, indeed. Yep, a good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? Yippee. Murphy. Hmm, well, that's a fine name. Yeah, that's a fine name indeed. Well now, Murphy. <laughs> I like these options. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now listen up. <laughs> if you... <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> if you intend on going to Hooktail Cat, Hook to Hooktail Castle, you find the secret pipe that's located somewhere in Petal Petal Meadows. I know you need the Sunstone and the Moonstone to use that pipe. The stones are somewhere in Schwank Fortress, just past the village. Get them first. Well then, Murphy, get going and really wallop that Hooktail monster. Hi, Captain. Yeah, so, uh, Goombella, so normally what happens is we go to a new place and every and the, everybody's problems are immediately pushed onto us. That's pretty much just how it goes, so get ready for a lot of that. That's Croup, the mayor of Petalburg. He just babbles whether he's alone or not. But you can't tell if he's really senile or if he's just working that angle, you know? A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Hello there, my name is Koopy Koo. Your name is Koopy Koo. Well, uh, the naming conventions sure didn't change between games, did they? <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, that hat, those overalls, and that magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? Yippee. Uh, I've heard tales of how strong you are. If you're here, that means you're going to challenge that monster's hook tail. Oh, only Koops are as brave as you. Hey, I'm sure he's fine. Whoa, Koopella, you can teleport? <laughs> What the heck didn't you tell me you can instant transmission? That's Koopy Koo, a local pedal burger. She seems to be Koopy's girlfriend. Wow, oh, she's really cute. She has a good head on her shoulders, too. Thing is, because she's smart, she kind of mothers Koops a little bit. I guess it's a complicated relationship, but then again, what relationship isn't? Oh, by the way, Mario, wood. Koops, my boy. I love Koops' design. He's great. I can see the same image that was in, uh... The mayor's office. Oh, he's, he's sitting down here in the shadows, too. In the dark. It's because he's sad. But look how shiny his boots are. What'd you say? You mean you're actually going to Hooktail Castle? I can't believe you dealt challenge that behemoth. She eats people. Often. <laughs> um... It's really none of my business, but it's one, it's one scary dragon, that's no lie. That's Koops from Petalburg. He's got confidence issues. He's a cringer, you know? Are you calling him cringe? But he's definitely got a serious interest in Hooktail. I wonder why. Hmm. I'm sure there, there I'm sure there is no plot relevant reason why he's interested in Hooktail. Oh, hold the phone. Wasn't it just uh, oh, oh, it's the Traveling Sisters three. Forgot about these ones. Oh, the voice. Hey, hey, hey! It's us, the Happy Wanderers, the Traveling Sisters three. The village is famous for its clear water, clean air, and one more thing: that big bad hooktail. We can't wait to see her. Hope we don't get eaten. Psychopath. The Traveling S Sisters three—they seem to go everywhere together. They also seem... inattentive? Do they even notice each new place they wind up in? Um... I mean, they notice that they're in a new place. <laughs> if that's what you mean. That's the battle master. He's a master of battling. Let me know... Let me know if I'm going too fast here. He'll teach you the secrets of battling and help you practice tricky action commands. So if you're having trouble mastering any aspect of battle, just ask battle master. I mean, obviously. Okay, so that guy's definitely new, but he's like pops up around, which is cool. Hey, since you're killing me, ask. How many people do you think Hooktail's gobbled? Uh, <laughs> Primity, I don't know. 
all the time. I mean, I heard she recently lunched on an old old man scoo on old man Scoo two villages over. And Coops, who lives next door, his father went off to battle hooked here ages ago. He's been a missing person. No, wait, that's not right. A missing Koopa ever since. <laughs> Hold on, wait. That was your correction? I mean, Koopas are people too. In in a certain sense of the word. Oh, whoops, sorry, I almost forgot that I'm racist. Uh, a missing Koopa. <laughs> That's toasty. <laughs> Fun. A toad, a toad from Petalburg. She seems really huffy about something. She sure does seem to keep... She, she sure does keep a straight face, though. I guess she's a pretty tough cookie. We'll have to keep a vague recollection of uh, people's names and whatnot. Do all the toads have names? That's a toad from Petalburg. Now, he just seems like a regular toad to me. I hear he leads a secret life as president of Luigi Fair Club. Yo, what? I hear there's a scary kind of monster that lives near town. Normal attacks are completely useless against it. Oh, and that's not all. Fire attacks are also useless. The very idea freaks me out. What can I do if one attacks me? Why well, wonder if the shop has a way for me to throw <laughs> a way for me to throw money at the problem? I don't think you know, I don't think we need to do that. We seem to be doing fine. Yeah, I think we I think we seem to be doing fine. Hey bud. Some stone monsters that live at Schwank Fortress up ahead. Or so we fear. The gate is here to keep them out. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Kill out there though. Um, excuse me. Uh, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please. Pardon me for yelling like that. I, I was panicking. Um, how to begin? My name's Coops. I can't. Yeah, we, we, we've, we've spoken. I heard you traveling to Hookdale's castle. I, uh, I have a favor to ask. Yeah, bud? Um. Oh, just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. G goodbye. Okay. That was weird. What do you think? What do you think's going on inside that guy's shell? Is there any dialogue change after that? My boyfriend Coops is just sort of well, wishy-washy. He's not quite timid, but well, I, I guess I just wish he would be more, you know, manly sometimes. Oh, Coops, why did I have to fall for someone like him? Yikes, Koopy Koo. I mean, I I would assume it's because you like him for who he is. Wait, was that out loud? Don't you dare tell him I've, sa I've said I've fallen for him. Please, I beg you. Aren't you... Wait, I'm sorry. Aren't, aren't you two together? Are you not together? Did Goombella lie to me? Is Goombella allowed to lie to me? She seems to be Coops' girlfriend. Oh, I see, I see. So maybe it's not, like, official. Hey, bud. Look, I... Listen, I forgot... Listen, just forget that whole scene I made earlier, okay? It was nothing. I was just fooling around or something. Alright, man. I'll just keep walking over here, pretending like I'm not about to get a new party member, alright? <laughs> I actually think this first part we just do with Mario and Goombella. I could be wrong though. We have do we have seven star pieces already, dang. I'll take it. Oh, I nailed him, nice. Kill that guy. Um, okay, so Koopas, same as the first, you know? Except now they got cool shades and like freaking like emo wristbands and necklaces and stuff, spiky necklaces and whatnot. HP 4, attack 2, defense 1. Only on the path of Schwank Fortress. Oh, except for that one. That's a Koopa Troopa. They've been they've been around forever. I don't respect the longevity. And they're they are tortoises. Well, no, they're they're turtles, which is weird because turtles are like only aquatic based. <laughs> so, and also they 
these ones act and look more like a tortoise would because of the really high round shell. I'm not an expert, but you know, I I dabble. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, defense is 1. The shells are hard, the flip them over, and the defense drops to 0. Now you know how to flip them over, right? Yep, jumps and power blocks. So get in there and get stomping. Dang, they don't manage to get up in one turn. That's sad. Does she... Is her stylish thing for head bonking when she gets back? Or is it like... Maybe it's when she's jumping through the air? I got no idea. Must hit everything. Oh! Plus fight! Can't flee this fight. Oh, what? Oh, we learned anything? Oh, I see. Mario, look at our audience. Oh, yeah, here we go. I love all the stage and audience stuff because, like, they fully commit to that to that being, like, it's not just a stylistic choice. It's like, no, we, we're fully... We, we, are in a, we are in a physical space. We are on a stage fighting people. There are actual props on stage. There are people in the audience. Some of them hate us. That guy's got a rock. There's no way he, he isn't going to throw that at you. I get hurt if the audience hits you with anything. Not just emotionally. Quick, stop him before he throws that rock. Try pressing X. So you got to beat up the audience. Which people should do in real life. <laughs> people throwing stuff at you? Assault them. Come on, violence is the answer. Nice, later you lousy troublemaker. From now on, press X to eject anyone in the audience who looks like they're holding things. Oh hey, but there might be actual fans out there with items or coins for you. Try not to chase them away. Yeah, that's that's the thing. You can't just go... When you see the prompt come up, you can't just go around assaulting everybody. Some of them are actually throwing like hearts and flowers and stuff at you. Okay, Mario, now try attacking with your hammer. Wait, what? Why would I... Why would I do that? Goombella, that's, that's incredibly inefficient. Oh, because we're learning about the other stuff, the props and whatnot. Or stage elements. Sometimes your attacks will cause the backdrop to collapse. You can drop on us too, so watch out. All sorts of things could happen while we're up here. Stay alert and try to come out on top. Yeah, sometimes stage lights fall on you, and they give you zap. They do damage, but they give you zap and whatnot. Like, a lot of weird random things could happen, which is fun. That's worth it. I'm gonna try to kill this Goomba. Watch this. Crud. Oh, wow. He, his arc was wild. I was not ready for that. <laughs> Gosh, I love all the texture work and stuff. Like the hyper-realistic hyper like uh, paper textures and whatnot. It's, uh, it's fun. Did you thought you were hiding behind that man? Ooh, that guy's got a power block. I'll try to... I'll try to have her... I'll try to do her input before she lands the first time. I don't want to mess up her head bonk, but I'm wondering if that's like what it is. I can't carry any more items. Use, use or toss something. Um, I'll use this on... 
Bella just to top her off. Might as well. Got too many freaking items. I'm I'm genuinely cannot believe that this exists. I can't believe this exists. I can't believe I'm playing it. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling. Ooh, the music. Oh, the, I, forgot, I forgot about this song. I don't know what instrument that is. It might just be synthetic. It's, it's got some stink on it, though. Too deep. That's a bald cleft. Basically, a rock monster with a sharp, craggy face. Uh, this is kind of mean, but bald guys just really, really just don't do it for me. Dang, Goombella. I don't think anybody does. You've only had positive things to say about girls, so I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that you don't like dudes. <laughs> it may not, I mean, maybe a bit particular, alright? I mean, this, this Italian, this Italian goblin man next to you. I guess that does something. It seems to do something for you. This creature you've let into your life seems to do something for you, which I mean, honestly, but is Mario even a dude? Mario feels just like he's just the essence of plumber. He's just the essence of an Italian person, right? I think he's... I think Mario is ambiguous. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think any identifier fits him kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. Max HP is two, attack is one, defense is two. This guy is rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. Might be best to attack with, say, a power block? Gotcha, boss. can do. I think I have two of these anyways. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, the little uh, stinger at the end, too. That's fun. Oh, Kumbel's a little happy dance. Oh, that, that was very fun. Yeah, screw you two. Bunch of shy guys. Oh yeah, I need to try to do Goombella's, Goombella's thing. Hold on. Oh, did I get a bingo? Oh! Oh, right. Okay, so the stars, everybody fills the stands and stuff, which, and star power is full. That can be amazing in a clutch. It just depends. Hmm. Nah, I didn't seem to do it. say about where we are? The area here is a bit stale, don't you think? Oh yeah, listen Mario. Remember, you don't have to attack every enemy you see. If you have low HP, you might just want to avoid them. That's exploring 101, you know. Uh, Goombella? I'm not a coward, okay? Unlike Koops, I'm a real man. Oh god, I'm on the upswing. Oh my gosh, look, Luigi's in the crowd. That's great. I think Luigi is the only other character in the crowd. Oh, I was gonna give this a super true? Bro, 
I could attack Luigi? That's so sad. I would cry. If I ran down there and attacked Luigi, I would cry. Also, the game actually gave us a huge notification. It like honked at us and everything. That was a little unnecessary, I think. I think I think the original game might have given you a, a small little sound effect. I'm not sure though. I don't, I don't remember giving you much of an indication. I think you kind of just had to pay attention, which, which, which is like the whole thing, right? Uh. I mean, truly, I'm not gonna be cooking anything for a while, which means that these three things are like not useful. So, just toss the horse tail. We know where to get one. Gosh, I love the big chunky cardboard coins. It's like very satisfying to look at. Yikes. Part of Schwank Fortress. We've got a couple of pedestals here, that's it. Still the archaeologist, this place is a gold mine. We gotta come back sometime. Punk. <laughs> you do seem to have like nothing but unique background, which is cool. I think that these guys I think you can't even walk up. I could be wrong though. Out to Bristol. Totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly. Defense 4. Crazy. Max HP 2. Attack is 1. And defense is 4. And they're, they're, they're uh, per impervious to fire. Even trying to get close enough to whack it with a hammer is dangerous. Seriously, the spikes will totally pop out. So since you can't jump on it, or use your hammer, you better use an item. I.e. the item that, that we just got before we walked in. Yeah, basically, I think this is just to show you, like, hey, some enemies are going to have a lot of defenses, so make sure you keep, you know, your mind open as far as, like, what items and stuff you have, or what other options you have. Oh, everything jumping, too. That's fine. Yeah, not being able to get near an enemy is, uh pretty big thing too. I think that I think only the clubbers were like that in the in the other game. No, I'm sorry, the, the shy guys, the um spear guys in in the jungle. They would hold out the spear in front of them sometimes. You know, I could totally see Super uh Super Paper Mario in this art style. I actually I I would love that. Genuinely Despite the fact that, like, it's not my favorite game to replay, I would, I think I would absolutely love to see it remade and given, and given this kind of love. Because then, like, the, the trilogy would truly be, like, like, complete. Because here's the thing, right? One of the main reasons why I, um... One of the main reasons I didn't... Uh, I, I, I'm not planning on playing Super Paper Mario after this. It's because I just wanted to do a little mini legacy to lead into this game specifically. But there's only one game before this game, right? And to be fair, the game that comes before this one is the only Paper Mario game that is like this one. Nothing that nothing else that came after this one, including Super Paper Mario, is like Thousand Year Door. So, and of course, it's like yeah, the whole idea is I'm I play games to um, to sort of get ready to, to, to sort of get ready for uh, the whatever the brand new game coming out that's coming out is right, which is this game. So once we're here, we're playing the new game. There's nothing else I need to do, you know. A free pass lets you stay one free night at the end. Oh, ah. Oh, dang, that's like a... It's like a carryable thing? We have so many items. It's crazy. I just haven't been in combats that would warrant it, but the end is only like, what, five? Five coins? I mean, okay, I, I don't... Well, the Toadly Leaf is actually the only other thing that we have right now that gives us FP in case we need it. Um, 
I don't think I need an in coupon. That that's a cool thing that exists. Um, you know that's three enemies. Sure. Uh, the original animation kind of packed a little bit more punch. I think the fireballs were a little bit bigger. That's totally not- that's a nitpick right there, okay? I'm not- I'm not saying, like, this- this game's actually garbage. It, it, that's what I'm saying. The game's actually trash. It always was. I can't believe this. Sticker Star is the best Paper Mario game. Don't at me. Okay, well, there we go. That was a good chance to free up some space. We have so many fireballs. I don't remember the healing blocks taking money. Am I... Am I a cheap... Am I a cheap little hoe? Is that why... Maybe I should never used them? <laughs> Wait, I can fall off this? Like, fully? Oh, oh, can I do that on the edge of anything? Oh, okay, I can do that on the edge of anything. I'm on the edge of glory. <gasps> the thwomp. Dude, the vibes, the freaking at the atmosphere with all the like lighting and stuff like that. It's very cool. Very, very cool. This is Shrunk Fortress. Suspicious statue. Pretty sure that's a thwomp bust. Hey, I just remembered something I read about this place in a book. Whenever the villagers were confronted with a monster, they'd hide in this fortress. Guess that's a little bit of history everywhere you look, huh, Mario? Guess so. Haha. <laughs> You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. You must want the sun and moonstones, and if that's the case, then you must complete compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stone stones rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate, and by terrible, I mean awful. Haha, <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Well, let me take a sip. A little pouch, but uh, I'll take you on. You in for it now? I love this. <laughs> oh my gosh, all the lights and stuff like that, they're so bright. Like actual lights now. Hey, hey, it's that time again. Welcome everyone to the 65th Trivia Quiz Off. So good. If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you'll win. But get three wrong and you'll suffer. Yikes, okay. Now for the first question, what's hidden in the Shrunk Fortress? Wait, that almost sounds like... It almost sounds like... Um, the song from... I think it's FF7? Reaper? <laughs> a little bit of that? A little bit of a song that played in the, the Vox Machina Season 1? Uh, during one of the last fights? Sun and Moonstones. Is that your real answer? It sure is. Ah! That's correct! That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourself. On to question two. What do one mushroom and one fire fire cost at the shop in Petalburg? Total. Total? Let me think about this before. I think eight coins. I think it's like three and five. 
eight coins. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes? Oh, dang. Was it ten? Ha! <laughs> wrong, 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 you fools. Remember, if you get three wrong, you're gonna suffer like you wouldn't believe. I think that means he just kills us, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Don't let the pressure get to you. Moving on, question three. What is the name of the male of Pet Petalberg? Oh, it's a uh, Krupp. Krupp. Birdle? Moopa? It sure is. Ah, that's correct. That question was too easy, it only gets out of here. We're not done yet, folks. Question four. Tell me now, where is the Crystal Star? Hooktail Castle. The item price one was the hardest one so far, genuinely. Are you ready for the diabolical question five? How can one get from Rogueport to Petal Meadows? Oh, from Rogueport to Petal Meadows. Um, go through a pipe. Racing a car. Hey, Gumbrella, do you want to, like, chime in at all? Like, help us out a little bit? Tell me you didn't just get the fourth an right answer. It can't be true. That's it. I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get ready for brain pain. On to question six. Which of the following characters can be found in Petalburg? In Petal... Uh, uh, Koopa Troopers. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Oh, that freaking build up to that. Holy crud. No! Ah! That's that's right. You correctly answered five questions. I don't believe it. You win. Mm. Yeah, I think they redirected some of these scenes and stuff like that. There feels like there's some like slightly different camera angles and whatnot. Um which is pretty cool. They they they, they kind of pushed a, made it a little bit more cinematic. So very angry. I can't believe I lost. I guess I'll let you through. Stupid rules. Well, I appreciate that you're a man of your word, though. Hmm. I screw you anyways. So I'd like to at least finish this fortress before we call it quits. Strong fortress sub level. Ooh, the vibes. Multi bounce. Attack multiple foes in order with oh in order with properly executed axe commands. So does that cost one? It does cost one. So I think I'm actually gonna move the unsimplifier only because we don't need more star power right now, honestly. Having abilities, though, is pretty cool. Plus, we invested in uh, FP first, which means having some more... Uh, having some, some more abilities would be to choose from would be pretty good. Ooh, and we got fuzzies. All right, give me the deets. HP three, attack one. That's a fuzzy. What a hyper little guy, huh? Cut back on the caffeine. Max HP is three, attack is one. Defense is zero. Those things suck up your HP and use it to punish their own. Isn't that the worst? I mean, ew. Doesn't that sound totally gross? Totally. Anyway, it sounds like you need to use the Garo Dash command when they release you. When they release you, so that's very different. Uh, you just have to master these guys in the first one. The timing is pretty hard to master, so uh, practice up. These things really suck. HP. <laughs> but um. Ooh. 
we have so many. Very close. Feels so much easier to like hit people, get first strikes in this game. Um, oh, hold on. I got a way to clean this, clean this up fast. gonna do that. Nope. And then we're going to... Nope. Uh, yeah. You can't, like, menu super fast, I've noticed in this game. Which is fine. It's not a big deal. Just means you can't, like, try to rush through, uh, button pumps too fast. Oh, one off. That's funny. Well, there's one. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's fine. Sorry, gang, I uh, stocked up. Kinda accidentally. I, I just sort of was like, we should have some items. Thought I might use them before this. Play smarter, not harder. So we are going to preemptively, because I saw that HP plus, uh, which will be what we use for BP next time we, when we get it, for now, until we get something cooler. Uh, but yeah, for now we'll get some BP. Because we just, we just don't need more than 10 HP. Or 10 FP at this, at this point, honestly. I'll take that. Goombella, are you like constantly just like t in taking like taking in water <laughs> because of your height? Like that that seems terrible. Up to her nose in it. Goombella, do you have a nose? Hmm. Questions for later. Uh, we're in Schwank Fortress. All this water has made this place a little cold. I don't mind getting out of here with some fresh <laughs> for some fresh air soon. You know, you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. But we're gonna stay down here until the mission's over, Goombella. And you're gonna like it. And if you don't like it, then you can just drown anyways. Cause I'm Mario. I'm a main character and I'm a real good person. Oh, you know what we can do? Kinda unnecessary. We haven't like needed to use the star power yet. Oh, I should have used... I messed up. Could have done this cleaner. Oh. I thought the animation was long. Huh. Maybe, maybe they tweaked that a little bit. Weird. What? I'm too curious about Goombella's... Goombella's stylish thing. Let me look that up really quick. Weird. Okay, so it says press A before Goombella jumps towards her target. Very strange. You know, being able to hit in like eight directions is super nice. I will say. No, that wasn't it. I 
I love that, the triple jump backwards. Ooh, no, timing bad. That didn't seem to do it. Hmm. Maybe I'll actually need to look up a video. Still getting good experience, although I think all the guys on the surface, with the Koopa Chupas and Goombas and stuff, are not going to uh, give us much, I think. Oh, I wonder what's going to be really useful here in a moment. This room is damp and moldy too, like every other one. I just want to see the sun again, is that so wrong? <laughs> Sorry, Gumbella. Oh, those guys actually have the vampire items? That's screwed up. Yeah, enemies can, will, like, can show up carrying items, and they will use them, so... Watch out. I love how snappy and quick, like, combat is in these games. I look at some, like, turn-based games, and, like, I watch you have to, like, wail on enemies for 20 years for just a single fight. It's, like, crazy. Mjork. Hey, you suspicious types. This is our old place. Coming in here is rude. Sorry, suckers. You want a warm welcome? Too bad. Now I lunch on your head. Wait, wait, whoa. That wasn't even clever. Alright, you can bell up. HP 10, attack 1, Schwank Fortress. It's a gold fuzzy. Oh, this is a super rare, I'm serious. Wow. Max HP 10, attack 1, defense 0. Oh, but hey, even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck up your HP, which is nice. Oh. The wonder though. Why does this thing hide? Look at it, it's so gaudy. Uh, you're wrong, dude, but there's only one god. Oh, there's one more at the end of it, too. Jeez. So stylish. Too stylish. Oof. Hey, ow. Chumps are tougher than you look. I'm not through yet. Everyone get him. Oh, privity. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, they got hit. They got hit by a... How? Goombella got it. Screwed up. Kumbella, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna swap you out. We're gonna heal you up a little bit. Might as well. Oh, uh, no, I need some Kumbella ones, guys. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I was stunned right when I needed the most. Right in the where the world needed the most. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, great heal from Mario if he actually needed it. Didn't even full heal Goombell. I, I mean, to be fair, I screwed up. Fuzzy Horde? Sure. <laughs> gotta, gotta scan the Fuzzy Horde. Wait, HP 20? Whoa. It's a Fuzzy Horde. Look at them all. What a mob. What a mob scene. This fuzz is a buzz. Okay, Fuzzy's coming at you all at once, in attack in order. It says here, not to freak out. It also says if you're good timing to defend, you won't take much damage. I'm thinking it might just be faster to whip the ringleader, though, you know? I mean, it certainly could be. Okay. 
that's good. They still went for it. Oh my gosh, they hate Goombella. They're like, we heard you talking about us. You better freaking stop that. Um, I kind of want to fight the Fuzzy Horde, though. Ooh, I messed up the timing. Looked too weird. Yeah, screw you guys anyways. Oh, they backed right off. Oh, can you not actually, like, kill them? I definitely didn't do 40 damage. Oh, oh, I forgot he doesn't suck. Hey, what you doing there, bud? Oh, oh, he made some of my audience members leave. Oh, freaking shy, guys. Must pull more. Oh, oh, I'm dizzy now. Oh, I was almost dizzy, actually. Oh, there we, I, I got it. So it's like right, she like starts to wind up, and then you gotta like do it. It's weird. Okay. Me, ugh, you got me. Yeah, you down, fuzzies. I'll get you again. Skedaddle. <laughs> Scoot your boot. What are you doing still? What are you still doing here? Get out of here. What about that? And don't forget it. I'll clean your clock. Very fun. A lot of... Man, I mean, we're only... Like halfway through the first chapter now and like between the prologue and this we've had so many unique encounters so many mini bosses boss fights just like difficult kinds of enemies that you could fight quote unquote difficult you know but um very cool yeah the game this game's just built different i feel like this game gets you right into the right into into the meat of it like way faster than the first game does which i really appreciate um again love the first game don't, don't get me wrong but this game is just like the improvement of the concept, you know. Um, I think I think Paper Mario walked, so Thousand Year Door could sprint to the <laughs> sprint across the finish line. Um, yeah. Well, with that, I think we're gonna end things here. We're about halfway through this chapter. Could probably finish it next time because we're gonna be getting to the uh, the full real dungeon next time. Um, but hey, if you liked this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified of more things in the future. Links in the description to things that I am doing, have been doing, or will be doing. Also, me and my friend are making a game. Any and all support towards that would be much appreciated. You can support us by supporting anything on this channel. Supporting the, de the devlog streams, and most of all, supporting the Patreon. And, uh, with that, till next time, don't forget to be kind, and I'll see you around. I, I wanted to change it, the music, because like the, the 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 ambient sounds like kind of spooky. It's kind of spooky here. I wanted to see if changing it to the nostalgic track like would change it. I don't really think it did. I don't know if that because this maybe this doesn't count as music. Weird, very weird. <laughs>